Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ande Ali. And in today's video, I've made an effort. You know, I've actually made a huge effort. I mean, look at me. You're gonna see me in a second with no makeup, no hair done, just a lousy t-shirt, and then you will understand. I wanted to get the bombshell look. And every time I look on Instagram, on brands like Charlotte Tilbury, for example, she's all about the bombshell, right? I see them only using models and I get it, you know, I get it. But I wanted to see would a normal person, just not a model, not a five feet to seven person, would she be able to achieve like a super sexy, glamorous look? I let you decide that, but if you see the before and after, you will understand. If you're here for the first time, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video or other videos as well. Now, this is the look that I'm gonna create. I'm gonna show you how to do the makeup. And I'm also going to show you how to achieve this bronzed, shimmery skin because this is not my natural color. I'm white like cheese, like fromage, that kind of white. So this skin right here, this color, this shimmer, this is all fake. So let's get into it. Let's see if we can take this face and make it look like a bombshell. Here's this. It all started with Victoria's Secrets, right? It all started with Victoria's Secrets, the show, the angels, the wings, the bouncy hair, the highlighter. Well, if I think about it, actually everything started with JLo, but you know, I wouldn't call her a bombshell. I mean, she's a rock star. But the challenge for today's uh, look is to take this and transform it into to this. So let's get started. We have some, uh, I ain't gonna lie, this is not exactly the best timing for me to do this video because I've got quite a few situations on my face. I'm gonna start with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm going to use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products in this video. It's not sponsored. If you're new to my channel, you should know that I love to use this product on the highest points of the face because it gives you glow, a glow that actually stays even when you apply foundation. Well, it depends what kind of foundation you're applying on top, but still, you see, this is the glow. All right, now I've done my eyebrows off the camera and have you guys noticed that like every bombshell has like fluffy, full looking brows. It's like a must, like you can't be a bombshell if you don't have full, thick brows. And I, I do have some eyebrow material, but it's not as much as a bombshell look requires. So I do this trick where I make my eyebrows look like this, like this is the max I could make them look. And it's actually mimicking the full brow look pretty well. Now it takes me about five to seven minutes to do both of my brows. So that's why I didn't show you the process, but leave me in the comments if you want to see how I do these brows. We're going to do the reverse contouring technique. If you don't know what that means, check this out. Instead of using the contour after foundation, I'm gonna use it before. And I'll take this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity 1. I take this synthetic brush, this is F75 concealer brush from Sigma. And I'm going to contour in the usual places, like sides of my forehead. I'm gonna do a little heavier contouring, but at the end, it's gonna look very, very natural, I promise. Where do I do it? Sides of the nose. I will contour the lips as well. And a little bit right here. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush. This one is from Tarte. Blend this a little bit. Make sure you don't move it too much from its place. You wanna do the jawline because it gives you a very sculpted look. As crazy as it sounds, this technique looks so much more natural than when you do the contour on top of your foundation. All right, next is foundation. I'll do this combination between the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the color Fiji, and I will mix it with just a little bit of Barcelona so we could give the skin that very bronzy look. Even if it's going to be darker than my body, I'll show you what I'll do. So, Fiji, and then Barcelona. They look like that. I have a damp beauty blender mixing all of this. I'm going to apply foundation wherever I did not apply the contour. So my chin. Listen, the bombshell takes some work. I ain't gonna lie. Now what is left on my sponge? I go over those places that I've contoured. Get it down the neck. 
Bam, now you have the most natural looking contour. I got you closer so you guys can see exactly how natural this looks. It's like so, so very natural. We're gonna use, I'm like, mm, which one should I use? I think I'm gonna go with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You know, all time favorite, you know it's working. Why change it if it's not broken? Yeah, this should work. This is in the color Custard. I'm taking this small sponge. You can use the same beauty blender but i really like to use a small little thing because i feel like i'm more in control i've applied a little bit of that concealer onto my chin and to cover this little guy right here what is left on the sponge i'm going to spread it on the mobile lid that's going to completely erase any discoloration you have in there it's like starting fresh then I'll take the Rodia Banana Low Lighter. This is such a great product to brighten. Used as a highlighter. I'll apply a little bit right here, a little bit right here. And this has a satin finish. Now I'm going to take that Beauty Blender and I'm going to go over everything just to take off the excess. Powder, I'll use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Powder. This is a new product. I've been using this on my stories and I, I, I really liked it actually. It's a talk based uh, powder. Comes in different shades. You've got a lot of product, probably enough for two years. I'm currently using the translucent powder. First, you gotta make sure no product creased. Take a little bit of powder with a small brush. It is absolutely necessary for you to understand that this look does not require a lot of powder. If you apply too much powder in here on this look, mm -mm, it's not a bombshell anymore because you still have to have that glow. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder around my mouth where I know for sure that foundation usually creases like right here or right here. A little bit on the chin because my skin tends to get oily in there and the sides of the nose. And of course I like to use powder to set the concealer most important thing a little bit on the center of the forehead and that's it that's it with the powder hourglass ambient lighting palette looks like this and then i'll take it with a 137 brush from mag and i will just mix all the wait you thought i was done with the skin <laughs> so naive <laughs> no we're not done far from being done okay it's a bombshell look what this product is going to do is give you that very sexy, bronzy look, but without being too obvious. You see, it's there, but not there. It's like, where is she? You see this color right here? Do you see it? Like this beautiful gold kissed by the sun makeup, but not really makeup. It's this guy. I know it's a very old on the market kind of a product, but it still has it. I am a sucker for everything Charlotte Tilbury releases. And recently they've just released these palettes. Let me show you all of them. Look at these. You know what's written on them? I'll take all your money. That's what it says. I'll take all of your money. I love these so much. Such a sucker such a sucker along with these palettes they have also released new pencils on one side they're matte and on the other side they're metallic you know they're matching the palettes so today i'm going to be using of course copper charge what could be more bombshell than than this like something that we see a lot on models and like the sexy looks on instagram this palette in particular because i've got a lot of questions for blue eyes if you have blue eyes first of all i envy you i want to pull them out put them in my head i uh, know i won't do that but for blue eyes this palette is just coming from the gods it's so beautiful i cannot tell you like you know what i think i'm gonna get some contact lenses because having a model on my channel right now is impossible and I think I'm going to get blue contact lenses and show you a few looks for blue eyes. But you have to trust me. This one for blue eyes looks incredible. First color, the darkest matte one. I take it with a 217 brush. I load the brush on one side and the other with the product. Take the excess off my hand. 
spread the concealer that was creasing on my lid. You want to apply this at the outer corner. Hold the brush from above, right? Like this. And press it a little bit just so you can find the crease. So you want to apply this at the outer corner. And then you do want to apply immediately after this on the inner corner. But not on the tear duct, just here. Then what is left on the brush, you go in between. You do back and forth motions and the movement starts from the wrist. Don't move your whole shoulder, okay? And then to blend, you want to do these tiny little circles. I take a little bit more product and apply it at the outer corner and also spread it a little bit towards the temples, I guess. You want the most of the color to be focused inner corner and outer cor corner. Remember that sandwich effect that I keep on talking about? Yeah, that's what we want to do. I take a clean blending brush because this needs to look flawless, okay? So take the blending brush. This is a 15 brush from Refer and start blending everything. Then I take a Sigma E34 brush, apply the same product on the lower lash line. I know that some of you are kind of afraid to apply the right amount of eyeshadow. Don't be. It's just makeup. If it looks bad, you know, you could take it off. Misa 94 brush and I'm taking this color right here and I apply this right in the center. I spread it all over the mobile lid. But as you can see, it's mostly in the center. And even applied with a brush, like look at this pigment. It's so beautiful. So nicely applied. Maybe it's the brush. I've never used this brush before. Now I'm going to take this color right here, gold, and apply it right in the middle. Oh my god. You know what? The camera doesn't catch how beautiful this turned out, but this is even prettier than I planned. Taking a small brush, this is a Refer 03 brush, grabbing the lightest color in the palette, and I apply it in the inner corner, of course. Like this little trick about having something lighter in the inner corner, is a must for like any sexy looks you're going for. Now it's time for the pencil to get in action. And I'll take the matte side, by the way, this is in Copper Charge. So I'll take the matte side first. And this is very, very beautiful. Super creamy, very easy to apply, I would say. Get it in between those lashes. And then relax your eyes and do the flick. So I don't do it from like one movement because I just can't on my eyes. And I try to follow the waterline. Like the, the easiest way I could explain this is that you just have to follow the waterline. Even if you have a fold in there, you have to just look straight in the mirror. Don't do this. It's going to mess up your angle. Do first the shape, right? Get my magnifying mirror and just perfect this. I mean, you could obviously apply black. But this is softer. Nice, right? And I will apply the same pencil, the same matte side at the base of my lashes, like so. I will not connect this line with this one. It just, if you leave it open like this, it's going to make actually your eyes look bigger. I haven't tried the other side. Let's try it right here. See if it makes any difference. No, it didn't. The shimmery side of the pencil, it's kind of useless in my opinion. I don't know. It's just me. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Before I apply mascara on the lower lashes, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs. This is the fine liner and it's the best pencil to be used on the waterline. Always better to use something that is like a beige or a cream than white. White is too harsh, I feel. Do people still use white? I don't know. But this trick is going to make your eyes look bigger. At first it looks kind of weird, but I'm telling you, for the bombshell look, this is a must. Now we're going to move on with mascara. MAC Extended Plagica Black Lash. Jouer makes super long wear lip liners and they're very, very creamy. I'm going to use this color in Sienna. And of course we're going to overline. I'm going to overline the heck out of my lips. Then I'll take a brush and make this contour less perfect. When you are doing this trick with the brush, it just looks more realistic that your lips are actually bigger than if you draw a super precise uh, line. 
And since we're here, I'm taking the same brush and this awesome lip palette from Dior. And I think I'm gonna go with this color right here. Man, this is so beautiful. You will never get bored of this palette. Like you have so many options and they're all so beautiful looking. Now, there is no bombshell if there is no gloss. I mean, the lips have to be very, very glossy. Listen, I've been trying a lot of lip glosses. There is nothing that compares with the Nude Envy. I've been talking about this brand before. This is made by my good friend, Isabel from Los Angeles. She is an amazing person. And especially now, during this time, I do wanna help her brand because it's such a small brand that deserves more popularity. I mean, look at this gloss. The reason why I like this gloss is not just the color. So this is in affection, but also this has like Isabel explained to me, but of course, like I completely forgot. This has some special ingredients that is going to fill in your, like if you have wrinkles on your lips, as you can see, it just smooths the wrinkles. And it's not just because of the shimmer that it has inside. It's really the product. Like it, it's like skincare for your lips. Isabel is a woman in, in her late 40s. But she looks stunning and she created this because she needed she really needed something that would make her lips look very plump i'm gonna use this beautiful blush slash highlighter this is so beautiful it's from charlotte tilbury cheek to chic and the color pillow talk this is a sonia g classic cheek brush and i apply the blush a little bit higher than what I normally do. It just lifts the cheekbone. Now we need major glow, like super major glow. So I'll be applying the Iconic Illuminator. This is an original. This shines from the space. It's like liquid silver gold. I'll take this tiny little sponge, use the clean side, grab some of the product and then you want to gently, gently, gently apply this on top of your cheeks. I say gently because if you push too hard, you grab the product underneath. You don't want that. Man, this is like so strong. Pretty, right? Maybe I know a little bit right here. I have to apply lashes. There's no bombshell. If I say one more time bombshell, I mean, I cringe every time I say it. Um, I will apply lashes, okay? These are Swede Lashes, all black. All right, I think we are done with the lashes. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to go change my top and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna apply on my body for that beautiful, even skin tone. And I promise you a lot of celebrities and just people that you see on Instagram, they do these tricks. So I know that it sometimes look like it's at fourth less, like just apply a little mascara and like curl the lashes and that's it. It's much more work than that, okay? Okay, I'll be back. We're gonna take care of the hair later, but for now, let's just apply some bronze. I'm going to use the Body Blur in Latte. This is from Vita Liberata. This makes your skin look incredible. So I know it's very dark, but wait for it. Just wait for it. Almost done. This is a Huda Beauty brush, by the way. This is probably the best brush for body product that I've ever came across with. And now we're done with bronzing. It looks beautiful, especially on the legs. Now we're gonna use the Patrick Ta. This is the Major Glow Highlighter Mist in We Love Her, and it's a pink pearl. It's kind of hard to do this without using a mirror. I mean you serious? This is like next level <laughs> stuff. I might have exaggerated right here. It's fine. Let's do the hair. I mean, the hair is everything. The hair is like framing the face. The hair changes completely, like everything. And because we need some glow on the hair as well, I'm going to use the Mystical Shine Spray from Color Wow Hair. It did work. This is the final look. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and make sure you click on that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a lot of things these days. A lot of crazy things that I wouldn't have thought I would ever post like what I eat, my workouts, how I dress, all crazy stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm trying to lose weight, like do you realize it? I don't know, like if you saw my posts, do you watch my Instagram? Do you follow me on Instagram? You could give me like one bite, you can't just leave it. Don't move. <laughs> He's baking these. <laughs> For fun. I'm not sure if I want my friend with this side. Where is more chocolate? In the middle. middle? Let's go for the middle. Okay, take okay. it. No, take okay. it. Take okay. it. All those calories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes me sick.